Hey, how's it going? So now I'm going to be talking about vertical integration and what that is. Vertical integration is a business strategy in which company expands its operations by acquiring or controlling other companies that are part of its supply chain or distribution network. This strategy involves moving either upstream towards suppliers or downstream towards customers. Uh, that may mainly position you in the middle. <laughs> I'm talking a lot about that in my book. You can find information there, but overall, this uh, strategy involves moving either upstream. Yeah, the goal of vertical integration is to gain more control over various aspects of the supply chain and potentially achieve cost savings, improve efficiency, and enhance com competitiveness. Uh, that means if you would position yourself in, in the middle, you, once you have a product, uh, how you, that's in my own work, basically trying to explain the same thing. If you would be perhaps uh, uh, looking at distributor uh, distributing channels and how you're going to be distributing uh, you're going to look to distribute your product or you would look at manufacturers and how you're looking to source materials and how you're going to manufacture its product and services or uh, build your product service uh, there are uh, two main uh, ways of uh, of looking at vertical integration, that would be forward integration. This occurs when company expands its operations downstream by acquiring and controlling business involved in distributing or retailing of its products or services, for example, in manufacturer, cust uh, manufacturing uh, of customer electronics, might open its own retail stores to sell its products directly to consumers, uh, bypassing the third party retailers. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have any of the pallets missing. You notice that you have some of the issues that your pallets haven't been labeled properly. Some of the barcodes, they couldn't scan it in a warehouse before distributing, as well as perhaps a cost savings. So that might be required. There's some of the issues that you might avoid by doing that. But if we're talking about physical goods, uh, that might require the different warehousing centers across different, if domestically or worldwide, might require different, perhaps, uh, particular systems in place, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, backward integration, this happens when company expands its operations upstream by acquiring and controlling supplier, uh, suppliers or raw material providers. For instance, a car manufacturer might acquire a steel mill to ensure a stable and cost-effective supply of steel for its vehicle production. Uh, vertical integration offers several potential advantages. Cost reduction by controlling more stages of supply chain. A company can potentially reduce costs throughout economies of scale and, and eliminate mar uh, markups from third party suppliers or distributors. Quality control. Vertical integration allows you to create a control over the quality of consistency of products or services since the company has more oversight over the entire product process. Supply chain stability, it can reduce the risk of uh, supply distributions and uh, ensure a stable supply of essential inputs. Competitive advantage, vertical integration can lead to competitive advantages by offering unique products or services by, uh, or by improving overall efficiency. However, uh, if we cover pros, what are cons, vertical integration has also some potential disadvantages. In increased risk, managing more parts of the supply chain can expose a company to risk associated with those operations, such as changes in demand and uh, regulatory issues. I have, uh, uh, most likely next week I'm going to be covering that a little bit deeper. But overall, how you're processing data and how you're managing and with, uh, so perhaps some of the changes that help and uh, you may, being able to use data of how much sales you make and making those predictions using AI models. That would be one way to perhaps in contingency plans and risk assessment. Uh, higher ca capital requirements, uh, expanding into new areas of the supply chain may require significant cap uh, capital investments. And overall, your capability of raising capital since we're going <laughs> to the weekend, I'm talking about finance. Reduce 
focus, managing multiple business segments can <laughs> distract a company from its core compet- uh, competence, uh, <laughs> having the right people in the right places. Antitrust concerns. In some cases, uh, <laughs> extensive vertical integration may raise antitrust concerns in the, if it leads to monopolistic or anti-competitive behavior, where if you would like to have more control over your market, uh, that's not necessarily good for consumers and then uh, reducing by competitors, uh, that will be one way to look at it. Uh, companies offer, uh, often evaluate the pros and cons of vertical integration carefully and consider uh, factors such as industry uh, dynamics, market conditions, and their own capabilities before uh, deciding where to pursue this strategy. The extent of uh, vertical integration can vary from particle integration to full integration depending on the company's goals and resources. Uh, depending where you find yourself in overall cycle, if you are uh, currently looking at uh, marketing and distributing, or perhaps you do understand overall uh, or have access to a lot of raw materials, you can begin with uh, raw materials and work your way all the way to perhaps distributing channels and how you're going to be looking to distribute some of your products. Or if you find yourself perhaps in the other spectrum where that will be marketing and you're looking to perhaps uh, manufacturers and uh, some of the raw materials and how you're looking to source those and manufacture products and from there you're looking to distribute uh, your overall products to uh, potentially customers. Uh, there's always that supply chain and how you how many companies are, how you're gonna break down a full process and uh, <laughs> that's just one way to think about it, I guess. Uh, then looking at uh, vertical integration, some of the things uh, to consider would be cost benefit analysis if you can actually improve uh, your product and services and uh, by integrating uh, or perhaps uh, improving your supply chain, especially with the current changes without world economies and uh, uh, if you need to source some of the raw materials or perhaps uh, distributing channels and how the uh, current economy is changing. Overall, industry and market dynamics, so that would be perhaps uh, if you uh, doing business domestically, uh, perhaps if you're looking to do that widely across the world, that would be some of those things to consider. Resource availability, uh, there are a lot of companies, especially that I know of in Europe, that don't necessarily have access to raw materials. And uh, some of the companies, for example, in China, wouldn't necessarily take on the job if they do not have access to raw materials. Perhaps some of the companies in Europe would take on a job without access to raw materials. That's a perhaps difference if those companies do not take their job. Uh, they have different attitudes when it comes to that kind of understanding overall. Core uh, competence. So if you do have a uh, staff and what uh, that staff understands and is capable of doing uh, risk management or assessment, uh, how are you going to be managing this product? Uh, or project overall, uh, that, uh, whichever that might be. Uh, market power and competition is some of those factors that you need to consider. Supply and customer relationship, uh, will, uh, uh, how are you going to manage that? Uh, would that, uh, I personally believe that would improve overall quality and give you more uh, chances in uh, making sure that uh, you uh, have knowledge of all your supply chain and from point A to point B otherwise I don't know but, but that's just one of those areas uh, legal and regulatory consideration uh, long-term strategy overall uh, market research exit strategy uh, cultural and organization fit timing and financial analysis um, uh, sharing a lot of information about uh, vertical integration in my book overall is some of the concepts that everyone should understand. Uh, you can find a lot of information how to start and structure your business and some of the strategies that you the least should uh, know about and consider 
the structuring your business and how you're gonna restructure some of the stages within your business who you're gonna be doing business with there's so much information that you need to uh, take into account before doing anything overall you can find this information in this book I hope that a lot of people will read this book you can find uh, the, if you would go to the link below you uh, can purchase this book on my company's website as well as the top retailers has this, this book as well thank you uh, there are a lot of examples some of them being perhaps uh, top companies would do Ford Motors company Apple uh, Amazon and uh, different companies who have uh, definitely uh, knowingly or not knowingly uh, been looking at the different supply chains and perhaps uh, the sourcing with suppliers and how it can look like and uh, what have some of the uh, strategies that you need to think of before venturing into any business. Uh, I would like to use the example as Tata Steel, a company that is a steel manufacturing uh, company and how that company started and uh, how long it took them to actually begin the process of uh, integrating the services and products and where they begin and what kind of values and structure that company uh, began with overall and uh, I believe that currently that company started with the raw materials and currently that company owns a number of companies uh, on the end of the spectrum overall uh, of the supply chain if the company would begin with the raw materials eventually or gradually you might want to acquire some of the companies where that company is supplying some of its raw materials to and perhaps uh, see if it can manage some of that supply chains and distributing channels overall thanks for watching and i see you in the next one